Hey, it's Becky. Here is a comprehensive list of the gear I use to capture and edit my DIY projects, tutorials, and videos. My tool selection is optimized for my photography and videography practice and has been built up and refined over a long period of time. I maintain the advice that the best camera is the one you have access to and you can get really far just using your phone these days. I'll put links to all my gear in the description below in case you want to shop. My primary camera is the Panasonic GH5S. I've also got a GH4 filming this right now and I can swap lenses and batteries in between them. I'm a big fan of the mirrorless cameras for the lighter weight since you know me, I don't have a lot of upper body strength. For my day-to-day -day use, there's not much difference between these two cameras since I usually shoot in 4K, 24P, 8-bit color. But the GH5S does have a few more modes and capabilities for slow motion and low light shooting, so I made sure to get the fastest SD cards I could find to accommodate all of the camera's features. The flip out screen is an absolute must for me so I can mount the camera almost anywhere and still see the picture. I have an external monitor but it's just a huge process to get it set up and I like how quickly it is to get ready to shoot with the GH series. A port for plugging in a remote is an important feature to me so that I can trigger the camera with my homemade foot pedal switch. I have four batteries between the two cameras and I also have that battery compartment AC adapter for doing things like streaming or long time lapses. The microphone port is another must have. For direct address, I capture audio using my Sennheiser ME2 wireless lavalier transmitter receiver pair. The receiver mounts easily on top of the camera. It has an XLR connector and an adapter to plug into the GH5S's mic port. The body pack transmitter has a monster rechargeable battery that lasts for like 12 hours. The receiver is smaller, but it comes with two batteries, each lasting at least three hours. I've never run out of battery during a long shoot day, but I guess if I were taking this stuff on the road, I might pick up another battery for the receiver. I also have a couple Rode camera top microphones for capturing native audio. They provide a lot better sound than the camera's internal mic, especially since I live in a place with a lot of background noise. I usually record from a script that's playing back on my Parrot teleprompter. <laughs> This thing is so cool. It mounts to the end of the lens and turns your phone into a teleprompter. I sync the scripts to the app using Dropbox. For voiceovers, I use my Rode Procaster microphone with a shock mount on an arm attached to my desk. I boost the signal using a cloud lifter and from there go into my USB audio device, which is by Focusrite. I've got a few LED panels called LightMet. They're color temp adjustable and really lightweight and easy to use. I usually use my long skinny 2L as my primary light and fill in with these smaller ones. I hold them up with two Avenger seat stands that come with gobo arms. I always use a sandbag on the long leg and I've got these cool pink and black shop bags from a local friend's lighting and grip company. I use another C-stand along with an extra gobo arm and a Cardellini clamp to get overhead shots with my camera. I used to use the Manfrotto Magic Arm, but my big change this year is upgrading this setup so that it allows me to capture more of the table while my arms can move freely back and forth. I still have a lot of love for the Magic Arm though, which makes it easy to mount a camera or monitor in tight spaces. As for more traditional tripods, I've got a few in a range of lightweight sizes. From my biggest is the Manfrotto Be Free Live, which is the video head version of my smaller Manfrotto Be Free. And then I've got a smaller Joby, as well as a tiny $10 Radio Shack one for using with my phone. I edit on my 2020 iMac. I use Final Cut Pro 10 to edit my videos using a mixture of the onboard speakers and my old Sennheiser headphones. 
I've recently started to get more into streaming again, and for that I've got a Blackmagic mini recorder to input my camera's HDMI signal, and the Elgato HD60S for inputting from my Nintendo Switch. I store my cameras in a padded Pelican case. My favorite lenses are the Kit 12 to 35 millimeter zoom and the Olympus Macro 60 millimeters. I've also got the wide angle 8 to 18 zoom that I'm filming on right now that I like quite a bit as well. That's it for my camera gear this year. I've got more tips and advice for documenting your DIY projects on my site. All the links to the things I mentioned are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel with the bell to be notified of my future uploads. You can also subscribe to my email newsletter, find me on social media. If you want to support my work further and could do so without hardship, Patreon is the best place. Thanks so much to my patrons for directly supporting my studio upgrades over the years. See you next time.